Hi, I'm John, and I'm excited to talk to you about signal-to-noise ratio and how it affects your touchscreen designs. You see, most touchscreen controllers use a form of signal acquisition called charge transfer technology. Charge transfer is a process in which the touchscreen controller integrates each capacitor in the touch sensor through a series of square wave pulses. We can count up just how many of these pulses are required to charge up each capacitor, which gives us a charge baseline. When you touch with your finger, you disrupt the electric field in that capacitor, essentially stealing some of the charge that would normally couple from one plate to the other internally. This changes the number of pulses required to integrate the capacitor and creates a measurable delta. These deltas are stored for every capacitor across the sensor and a heat map is created for the screen, which is ultimately used to establish touch location. Unfortunately, charge transfer is extremely susceptible to noise sources. So noises from displays, common mode sources like chargers or other environmental impacts can wreak utter havoc on charge transfer technology touchscreens. Getting enough signal to noise ratio with this technology has always been a problem. In fact, a lot of these touchscreens end up going to production with an SNR as low as 3 dB. That makes life for the engineer extremely difficult. One of the ways of solving this is to increase the amplitude of your square wave, as your signal to noise ratio is directly proportional to your TX voltage. This is effective, but it still results in limited gains, and worse, this creates new problems to solve. Aside from the obvious EMI problems of 7 to 10 volt square wave being shoved into 1500 capacitors in your sensor at 200 kilohertz can create for the system, the high voltage TX also makes silver migration reliability problems worse, and at a factor of V squared. Yikes. Touchnetics has solved this problem by changing the TX drive type and image acquisition fundamentally. We are driving the touchscreen with sinusoidal waves at only about a volt of amplitude. It's a massive benefit for both EMI and silver migration reasons. And what's most impressive is the results. We are seeing our systems operating with up to 80 decibels of signal to noise ratio. It's pretty phenomenal. So here's our standard 12.1 inch EVK. It's connected via USB bridge to a PC running our TouchHub 2 software. When I press down, you can see just how much signal we are really getting in comparison to essentially no noise in the system. This is real differentiation from the classic charge transfer touch controllers, and it will make your life designing these products in so much easier. So come visit us at touchnetics.com and learn more.